So we are here at Rafa's garage. Actually today, we're not actually at the shop. We're actually at a friend's house. Not really. Um, guy asked me out if I could help out with lift bolts. So he's taking the engine apart a little bit, or actually the valve cover. And I'm just here to help him out and get his car up and running. And having lift, hitting hard again. So we are here already. He already took out the valve cover and all the stuff, which was a plus. Um, what I'm gonna do is with the permanent marker, mark the timing chain. That way I know where to put it. Um, I am gonna take off the cams, the intake and the exhaust. Um, and take off the tensioner, take off the belt. Um, also gonna take off the lift solenoid over there. And you're gonna see why, cause I'm gonna push this rod all the way out um, and get that lift bolt. So just mark it anywhere. Just mark one, two, and then one, two over here, anywhere. anywhere. That way we have two markings. Let me see just side on. To see. So, car hasn't been running for what, three weeks? Yeah, three weeks now. Not bad. Combinari sides. TRD. It's a rep, huh? Mm -hmm. It's a rep? Rep, yeah. You got it. I couldn't find the original. Mm -hmm. how, did you, how did you tell? You can tell by this. So, show me. I actually, I actually want to know. How can you tell? This. And it's just the form. That is I don't so know. Cool. It's just like, tell. after after a while, <laughs> you just start getting the hang of what's rep and what's uh, what's original. That's so cool. <laughs> you know, I've been in the Celica scene for a while. No, I'm new. I only had this car for one year. Yeah. You'll, you'll start picking up on stuff. I did meet some of, like, in the junkyards in Sun Valley in OKQ. I met Che. If you know, I'm pretty sure you know who Che is. Uh, Angel. Angel, yeah. Yeah. He lives, he's, he's your local. He lives right here on, um... Um, uh, I don't know what you're talking about. Right uh, next Osborne. Is it Osborne? Glen, Glenos and Osborne. Yeah. yeah. He, like, uh, he has an MR2, course. too. Oh, yeah. no. Yeah, an MR2, right? Oh, yeah. so you got it. <laughs> took off the cams um, pretty straightforward you just got a bunch of tens uh, we zip tied the chain so you wouldn't fall we took off the tensioner um, we pulled out this tensioner to take off the other tensioner over there the chain one um, took off the belt um, and we're about to push this whole rod this one right here all the way here. I'm using um, an extension and then I'm just gonna hammer it over there. You do have to take that solenoid off, which is right there. Just a couple of tens, a couple of grounds, and that's it. Um, and you'll see right now that I'm gonna pull it all out and then you're gonna see that broken piece of lift bolt <laughs> in there. <laughs> and that's it. Um, Chain is already marked, so when we put it back on, we're gonna go back to those same markings. Um, this guy's tension chain, uh, fucking his tensioner for the chain was actually messed up, so we went back to the shop, picked up another one. Um, AutoZone doesn't carry it, so don't try there. Uh, O'Reilly's does, but they didn't have it in stock, so. We're going with the used one on my old motor. <laughs> so we tried hammering the shit out of it. That's as far as we got out. We got tired, fucking workout. So we ended up going to the shop, grabbing a compressor, air hammer, and now we're gonna hammer the shit out of it. <laughs> and you're gonna see the difference between fucking what we did and like, Good 30 minutes to about five minutes. 
You give it five minutes? <laughs> right, I'm about to, I'm about to time it. I'm, I'm, I'm like, I'm not going to give it that much. Watch. Rob, his garage right here. Let's find these guys. Let's see if he gets the rod out. Oh, shit. Mm. Not really. Huh? Oh, push. <laughs> that is stuck in there, dude. Put it back together. Fucking, okay, we couldn't get that left hook. But stupid rod was being a pain in the butt. Putting it back together, dropping it. Probably gonna try another day.